Right, so, so we're here at Lyft 2013. So who are you? I'm Kate Darling. Kate Darling? Kate Darling. I'm a research specialist at MIT Media Lab. I do intellectual property research, and I'm also moving into the field of robotics and law, so I do a lot of robot ethics. So IP is all over tech meme for the last three years, like all over the blogs are talking about all these, is that what you're talking about? Like, uh, is that what you research? Uh, is that anything to do with copyright, or how do you describe it? Oh, yeah, so I, I was speaking today about a project that I have where I was interviewing producers in the online adult entertainment industry about how they've dealt with copyright infringement difficulties online over the past like 10 years. So, what do you think about? Can I ask you about the, what do you think about the Apple, Android the lawsuits, Samsung? <laughs> Is that anything that you would you would specialize in or work it's towards? It's not or? what I specialize in, but I have opinions about software patents. I, I feel like. The patent wars are not necessarily what was originally intended by the patent system, which was intended to incentivize innovation and not intended to have companies at war for millions of dollars and kind of making it harder for small companies to enter the business. So, these reform, what would you say? Who's working on that? Is somebody working on it? On reform? I guess. Well, I mean, to be fair, like the USPTO is actually pretty interested in, in trying to make their system more efficient and they're open to ideas but it's just hard because they're such a large and cumbersome institution and it's also hard because there's a lot of pressure from industries that have vested interest in, in strong IP laws. So that's the problem. So tomorrow you have a workshop about robots and their sentiments? No, what are you saying? Yeah, robot ethics. It's robot about ethics. robot ethics. It's about um, whether people treat robots that interact with us socially differently than they would other objects like toasters. So we're going to have some very cute robot dinosaurs that we're going to have people interact with and then we're going to make them torture and kill them and see how they feel about that. So why do you work with that? Because I'm passionate, that's what I'm, I'm passionate about. I, so I work at the Media Lab, we have a lot of robots there, a lot of roboticists and I I've just become very interested in all of the social issues around social robotics. Because robots is one of the big things, right? Uh, it has been the smartphones, and uh, let's say that the margins are going down, now Apple needs to come with a robot very soon, right? And, <laughs> that, uh, that would be cool. That would be interesting, an Apple robot. It'd probably be a very expensive one. And then your research could be used into how people kill them, or, or not. I, my or my research so far has been Playful ways of dealing with the ethical issues of social robots. So, what kind of other things is going on at MIT, at the Media Lab? Crazy things. There's crazy things going on at the Media Lab all the time. Now, the Media Lab is a really cool place because it's basically throwing together really smart people from every possible discipline, not having like a single discipline, just having everything interdisciplinary having everything cross-pollinate, giving them a ton of money and having them make cool stuff. And everyone who works there is really passionate about building stuff. Like the students, they have a full workload and they will still like stay there all night and work on their own personal projects and invent stuff. So and so, stuff. so it's, it's easy to actually work and do stuff the whole time. It's not just ideas and you have to actually, like every student is like fully invested 24 hours in some projects. The, that could be. the way I've experienced it, the students are really, they're so passionate about what they do and what they build and they have so many ideas and they're 100% committed to making this happen. Cool. So looking forward to your robots tomorrow. Thank you.